Powdery mildew is one of the most important diseases of hop worldwide. The disease can cause severe crop damage and in some cases entire crop failures due to lost production and unacceptable cone quality. The fungus that causes powdery mildew is prevalent throughout the Pacific Northwest as well as Eastern North America. In this video, we introduce some basic information on the disease and the disease cycle that is important for understanding how, when, and where management efforts are best targeted. The powdery mildew fungus is highly specialized on hop. Many plants develop powdery mildew diseases such as grasses, weeds, and other crops. Fortunately, a specific powdery mildew fungus usually attacks only one plant host or one plant family. In our example, hop and the weedy relative, Japanese hop, are the primary known hosts. Powdery mildew can infect any green tissue on hop, including leaves, stems, buds, and most importantly, cones. Symptoms generally are conspicuous on leaves and appear as powdery white spots. Severe infection at bloom or on young cones causes their abortion or severe distortion. Infection of cones later in their development can be much more difficult to diagnose and often requires a microscope to confirm the sparse growth of the fungus on the undersides of bracts. Depending on the severity of the infection, affected cones become reddish-brown as tissues are killed or may turn a medium-brown after kiln drying. Before we get to that part of the disease, though, we need to go back to the disease life cycle, much earlier in spring and summer, to understand how epidemics develop. Powdery mildews require living host tissue to complete their life cycle. More specifically, they need succulent, juvenile tissue. Without a continuous supply of susceptible host tissue, the fungus actually dies. Because of this, in the western U.S., powdery mildew survives the winter in protected areas like greenhouses or as dormant infections on crown buds. With the latter case, the fungus becomes active as soon as shoots break dormancy and begin to grow in spring. From a relatively few infected buds, epidemics are kicked off in hop yards and the pathogen spreads as windborne spores from the originally infected shoots to other shoots, other plants, and eventually other hop yards. Knowing conditions that favor or suppress infection and spread of mildew is critical for appropriately targeting disease control measures. Disease develops quickly when plants are growing quickly. Mild temperatures of about 50 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, high humidity, and cloudy weather favor mildew. Under ideal conditions of 65 to 70 degree Fahrenheit weather, the fungus can complete its life cycle in as little as five days on highly susceptible varieties. A typical powdery mildew colony produces thousands to tens of thousands of spores that are readily spread by wind and can travel multiple miles to infect other plants. Both excessively hot weather and cold weather suppress the disease. There are some differences between varieties, but heat waves where temperatures exceed 86 degrees for six or more hours for multiple days slow disease development. High temperatures affect both the fungus and the plant's susceptibility to the disease. Acute cold events where temperatures drop to 40 degrees or lower for at least two hours similarly affect the fungus and delay disease development. The impact of rain on the disease is more complicated and can be either positive or negative depending on the amount and duration of rain, temperature during the rain event, and when rain occurs. How weather influences powdery mildew has been summarized in a simple, intuitive risk index that can be used to estimate disease hazard. Check out the next video for details of how the risk index can inform management of the disease.